Hey everyone, it's been a while. Who's ready to go camping? I know I am. So we are getting ready to go camping this summer and a couple of the places we're gonna go camping at do not have corrals for the horses. So I had to start looking up different products that I could get that would secure my horse on these camping trips. And there's quite a few products out there but not a lot of information on them, which was kind of frustrating for me. You could go to the different websites and they would show you just real quick videos, but nothing that really gave me a lot of information. Now there's several types of things that you can do to secure your horse when you are camping. One of them is a high line, which is a line between two trees. You can secure your horse that way. Not a lot of camping grounds have trees where I'm at, or some of them restrict you from doing that because they do not want damage to the trees. The other way is doing a high tie from your trailer, which a lot of people do. Um, I've not worked with my horse on that and I didn't really, it's not really something I want to do with my horse. So I decided to look into different types of temporary corrals that I could get. Some of the things out there, you can get stakes with the hot wire in between them, but there's a few places that I'm going to that have really hard ground and I don't think I can get the stakes in successfully or securely enough to have my horse be safe overnight. So then I started looking at panel products and there are a lot of panel products out there, but unfortunately none of those panel products are in my area and they're very expensive to ship. So my friend turned me on to the affordable portable products. They're camping corrals. They are light or heavy duty PVC camp or panels. And at first I thought, oh, that's a little, you know, is that gonna be strong enough to hold my horse in? But then, you know, I know my horse, he is fine. He doesn't test any of his uh, panels or his, his fencing. So I think, I thought, well, maybe this will be okay, especially if he's got food in front of him and, and maybe some shavings on the ground, he'll probably just leave it all alone. So I started looking into it and found on Black Friday, they had just an amazing deal that I couldn't pass up. So I went ahead and, and purchased it. And I pur purchased one that wasn't put together and it came in two boxes well actually three three because I bought some stakes extra stakes to go with it and then the two boxes were all the parts that I needed to put the product together and it went together really easy my husband helped me I was going to videotape um, putting one panel together but since my husband decided to help me I didn't want to turn down the good help and it was really easy it took us less than an hour but it's certainly doable with one person so let's look at what the product is here are my panels. I have them secured to the gate right now because we had a really crazy windstorm and I didn't want them to fall over in the middle of the night and I haven't had a chance to put them in the back of my trailer yet. But here are the panels. Uh, they're very well constructed PVC with, with um, good joint products that they send to you. They give you everything you need to assemble your panels. I bought the eight panel standard kit and it makes a pretty good sized uh, con um, corral for my horse. I also bought this four stakes to go with it. At first my intention with these stakes was that I was going to put them in each corner to stabilize my panels, but my husband being in construction came up with a better idea. These are temporary fencing corners or I guess I don't know what you you put them at each corner and when you're in construction you have to fence off your pro your projects and so they cut they get temporary fencing and they use these in the corner and what's really nice is each leg of the panel slides right over these posts and it gives you a really secure corner and I like that a lot better than the stakes because once again, if I run into super hard ground, I'm not gonna be able to get those stakes in really easily. So I like this. So what I'm going to use the stakes on instead is I will put them, when I'm putting two panels together, I'll use the stakes 
to stabilize the two panels. Now I also, they also give you these ties that tie each of the panels together to secure them. They do say you need to stretch them because they're really tight. So um, it'll be interesting to see how these work. I think as a safety feature for me, I like to have extra safety things um, on when I go camping. I will probably bring an extra set, maybe a bag of zip ties, just in case one of these breaks, I can use a zip tie in an emergency. I will probably also maybe even bring some hay string. I mean, don't we all use hay string? It's kind of like the cowboy's duct tape. Anyway, plenty of these to go around. And then the instructions that they gave with the product were very comprehensive. I had no problems understanding anything. They give you a lot of tips on what to avoid and what to do to avoid problems. So it's a really, really great um, package that they put together. So I'm going to set up my corral. Wish me luck, hopefully it goes pretty easy. I always like to test things out before I actually have to use them. So wish me luck. All right, so I got it all set up. I put my horse Danny in to see how it looks or how he likes it. There's plenty of room for him to lay down, plenty of room to have eat, to eat. He's kind of pushing. I didn't I didn't close this together. This is my little gate, so don't think that, you know, it's not uh, secured. Let me show you how the corners get put together or the each joint gets put together. They have those ties, that picture of the ties I was showing you. This is how they go together. They are a little bit tight. That was the hardest part of putting this thing together was getting those ties around each panel or each grouping of panel. And this is the stake I was telling you about. I put that stake in in the center between the two panels and it does a really good job at stabilizing it. My only concern is if I hit really hard ground, which was my concern about having the stakes with the hot wire. Now here is what I was talking about with the corners, the setup for the corners. I really like it. Really easy to just slide the pipe right over those sp the spikes. Now I just got a phone call from my friend. She said she found them at Home Depot for $20 a piece, which is, I think, a pretty good price. Now, somebody thinks he might want to lay down and roll here in the dirt. <laughs> so that's a good sign. He's feeling happy. Um, I only put one stake in. I didn't put all the stakes in, but this is a really cool product. I like it. It's lightweight. It's easy to transport. I believe these panels are the correct height to even put in the bed of your truck. So I thought right now the truck is at work with my husband, so I couldn't look to see if that was the case, but when he gets home, maybe I'll check it out. But they stack easy, they're lightweight, and it was easy to put together. So I really recommend this product if this is something that you're interested in for your portable corrals. So, happy camping, and I hope everybody is safe and healthy. Thank you for watching.